Greetings and welcome to Growth Hacking Secrets. I'm your host, Mohammed Siddiq from Atlanta, Georgia, and the co-author of New Success Secrets, available on Amazon. On this episode, we have a special guest, Kelly Alexander. Kelly is the business coach, specialization in tax saving legally. Okay? She's going to help you to save on taxes, tax and death are real okay so how however there's a legally there are so many legal ways you can save taxes and she call herself she is a five figure alternative tax relief expert and she is the owner of mytaxremedy.com please join me to give a warm welcome to our guest kelly alexander kelly welcome oh thank you sadiq thank you so much for having me yeah Thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate the time. Let me start with this. Where were you? What happened? Who you were surrounded with? That inspired you to start a ta my tax remedy, where you can help other business owners like myself and many others to save tax legally. Very important. Yes, I did about a decade of legal research, and I uncovered some secrets that honestly blew my mind. And I started applying it on my tax returns back in 2014. And at the time, I was telling people, everybody I knew, go to this website and you can learn how to do it. Lots of people. And I discovered after many, many months, not a single person followed through. I said, wow, you have an answer and you're not, you know, figuring it out. So I realized... People are too busy, intimidated. They didn't have the legal, I'm not, I'm not a legal expert, but I had done research and I was familiar with legal things. So that gave me the idea that people need somebody to hold their hand and guide them A to Z, what to do, how to do it, be the trailblazer. So that's what gave me the idea uh, to form the business. Uh, and then just in general, throughout my life, I've had little hints that what we're told in the status quo, common knowledge is not always the whole story. <laughs> in fact, it seldom is. Uh, I cured myself of an incurable disease when I was 19 and I did it with my mind. I learned about and heard about exotic things and I would explore them and go, wow. You know, I wouldn't have known, but I'm curious. Uh, I like to investigate things. And so those things added up to this business that I have now. Oh, this is a great story. I appreciate it. The common knowledge is not common. Hmm? Uh, so, yeah, real knowledge is not common. Real knowledge is not common. So great American tax remedy. Eliminate your income taxes. So you have written this... Uh, uh, like a PDF, uh, it's a great, eliminate your income tax simply and legally, top secret. Yes. So we are going to give them the link to get the download and use as an education for yourself. Do not use as an illegal advice to you. Is, is that right? That, that's correct. I do not have any licenses, designations, certifications. I'm not a CPA. I'm a layman that figured this out and applied it with success. Every one of my clients is a success story. So it's just through, you know, personal private investigation. Wonderful. So Kelly, what are the top three mistakes people do when they do their taxes in the US we are talking about? We are not talking international here based on your years of experience. Top three mistakes. Okay, so first of all, most people do not understand the tax code. I think it's called code possibly by design because it is not easy to follow and easy to read. There's over 86,000 pages of tax code and it grows by three to 500 pages every month. So People are reliant on experts and, and various things 
you know, to get the best result from the tax code. Um, that's one thing. The other thing is when you, when I heard you um, prepare me for this question, I was preparing missteps that I've made as a business owner and was wanting to share some of those things uh, yeah. for business for owners. It. Is that all right? Go for it. Yeah, go all right. For it. Yeah. So what I've uh, been learning is to write down when I have um, an assumption or an expectation of something, I have failed to be fully aware of what those are and then to verify them with other parties. Mm -hmm. um, for example, I went to a, a training and the leader was promoting her organization. She's a financial expert. She has a whole team of experts that work with you in various ways. And she says, I'm looking for partners. And I heard that. I thought, great, I'm looking for partners, too. And I joined her community. And in hindsight, I didn't find out what did she actually mean by that? Are she and I a good fit as partners? Um, you know, just all of those things. I just, you know, went for it. <laughs> and so I, I think um, that was a misstep for me. Um, and writing it down helps me really learn the lesson. If I just think about it, it's good, but it's better if I write it down. This is what I did wrong. This is what I would do in the future. And this is how I would make sure I don't have to relearn the same lesson again. Okay. The other thing is, um, I've realized that everything is negotiable. And it took a while to develop the willingness and the courage to actually negotiate things to make sure they were a good fit for me. Mm -hmm. So that's that has been important and um, due diligence, um, learning how to vet something that has been a mystery much of my life. And it's still um I'm still perfecting it, but, um, you know, figuring out what actually is the plan, you know, especially with investments, where is the money going to go and how is it protected? And what if the plan changes or gets interrupted? You know, all these questions that need to be thought through and addressed. So. Okay. Wonderful. This is good. The last one looks like it's coming from Mr. O's. Uh, wisdom book in part in yeah. part but i see in hindsight in in things unrelated to him how how it yeah. has applied very good very good so uh, you have been successful at uh, applying all this knowledge of uh, how many 80000 plus pages and 3 to 500 pages every month are being added to the uh, tax code and how, how the hell we are supposed to know that I mean, even my CPA I, I, I like him however yes. he never told me anything new in even in a given year hey right? we are applying something new this time it's very hard uh, I don't think any team of even 20 CPAs could master that much information in a lifetime huh. then Kelly how you are how you are able to do it Okay, so what I've uncovered is that there's a way to step aside from the tax code for the most part. Okay. I've learned that we have actually two distinct currencies in our American system. Mm -hmm. We have the Federal Reserve money mm -hmm. and we have the, the other currency is what our Congress has been authorized by the Constitution to issue into the economy directly without a central bank mm -hmm. that other currency is called united states notes not federal reserve notes united states notes do not incur an obligation on the government to be paid back with interest to the central bank mm -hmm. and that is what makes that other currency 
not liable to income tax. It's a non-taxable currency. So I simply show people how to document and make a record of which of the two currencies they're using, and then they can sidestep all of those tax code um, deductions. And, you know, that's how you can lower your taxes. The tax code is helpful in that way. It's just more difficult. So I know that's like, she's got to be kidding. There's two currencies. We only see one. <laughs> Yeah. And it's true. We only see one. They stopped putting the other one in circulation in 1971. So that's 50 years ago. But the the Federal Reserve note can serve as both in physical form as long as we document, you know, in records, which one we're using. So that is my big idea, big secret for the day. No, that, that's a good one. So, uh, Kelly, if everyone apply that secret, so in theory, no one is paying a tax anymore. How the government will run? I love that question. That is my most favorite, favorite question of all. Okay. Here's the thing. Besides income tax, we pay sales tax, property tax, gasoline tax, transportation tax, permit fees, license fees. I have a list that is about five pages long of all of the other taxes that are collected at the local, state, and federal level. And those are the taxes that actually pay for the services and the things that we expect from government. Mm -hmm. Gasoline taxes take care of the roads and those things. Um, Property taxes pays for the schools and the fire departments and the police departments and those items. So this is not about feeling guilty with getting away with something sneaky, because when you do the process that I teach and you use the other non-debt, non-taxable currency, you are also helping the U.S. government lower its national debt. It's a win win. Okay. This is okay. the way the founding fathers designed the country to work from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So, have you taught this to any CPAs or tax attorneys so that way they start talking because they can? I have spoken to some, most, ex with one exception, the CPAs that I've spoken to have been. Uh, either curious at first and then backed away mm. or outright against it. And, uh, and to be fair, it's, it's outside their area of expertise. CPAs and tax attorneys are brilliant, highly educated, well-trained people that by and large do an excellent job of keeping people out of trouble with their tax filings. Their expertise is the tax code. And because this remedy that I've discovered is found in the banking laws, it's just totally unfamiliar to them. Mm. So, you know, I take their response with a grain of salt because, you know, they really, they really can't speak to it yes or no until they research it. Yeah. So. Okay. I'm sure you have brought this up to Mr. O, how I can go to CPAs and tax attorneys and offer this as a, a kind of licensing uh, as a course to them so that they are up to date. Maybe, you know, they have continuing education. Maybe you want to include this into a continuing education of their CPAs and tax attorneys. Yes. I've spoken with some people about that. Um, and I'm definitely open uh, to doing that, certainly. Okay, cool, very good. So if someone who is watching this now or in the future who is as a business owner, how they can apply this to themselves? Well, I would recommend that they read my uh, download PDF first, get more familiar with it, you know, more specifics, mm -hmm. and then as they want to learn more and proceed, uh, reach out to me uh, in that 
PDF. I have my calendar. Um, you know, you can schedule time with me and I can, you know, walk you through how it could or might apply to your individual situation. Um, and, and I encourage people to look up the references that I give you and ex do your own exploration. I don't want you to just hear it from me. I want you to be empowered. I want you to understand the process and move ahead with it with full knowledge. I don't want, you know, blind followers. This is for people that want to be empowered. It tends to appeal to people that have a more alternative thought process. Um, just a funny tidbit. I realized not too long ago that many of my clients just happen to be vegetarians. There's no real correlation other than it points to people that are a little bit more, you know, outside the box. You know, they, they think a little bit differently. So that's more the, the ideal audience for me. Someone that, that likes that, yeah. Okay, so yeah, because they are really questioning the status quo and you know, they want to take care of yes. their physical health, they probably will take care of their financial health too. So that's the extension of their mindset, you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. So Kelly, we are about to wrap up and i like to, you are a guest on the Growth Hacking Secret Show. What would you say to your best friend about uh, your experience of being a guest on the show? Oh, it's delightful. I'm very happy to be here. Uh, thank you so much. I think the questions actually helped me deepen my own learning curve for the better. So I appreciate you very much for pulling those uh, those uh, uncomfortable lessons to the forefront. Thank you so much for your kind words. Really appreciate it. What would you say as a final word? I would say that Courage is one of the rarest of human traits. And I encourage you to do just take simple steps to question something or look up a definition, even of a word that you already believe you know what it means. Just be more inquisitive. Check things out. Don't take anyone's word for it. Don't give your... Your, your mind is your greatest asset. Don't turn it over into the hands of someone else. Keep possession of your own mind and your own thinking and, and think for yourself. That's what I would say. Think for yourself. So you go ahead and think for yourself. Go on mytaxremedy.com. Download the book. Let me in the middle of the interview. I have done it already. So, and I shared, I, I, I'm going to read it and Kelly will pass on the feedback to you. Definitely, I'm, I have been focusing on this area. However, I want to learn more, and at least to educate myself. Yeah. So thank you so much. I really appreciate uh, your time. Kelly Alexander, thank you so much for sharing your wisdom with us today on the behalf of Growth Hacking Secrets community and our entire team. We really appreciate you. This is Mohammed Siddiq signing off from Atlanta, Georgia. Until the next episode, all good wishes.